Okay, we are live streaming this session online. So I want to know how many of you had to lie to get out of work? Yeah? What was your excuse? Meeting. Good. Anyone fake a sickness? No? Good. Okay, this is great. This is going to be amazing. Doomtree, they are, they've been working like crazy for the last week and a half. Of course, this is the final blowout, and it continues on at First Avenue. It was went on last night. We're going to talk all about that, talk about the new record, talk about anything they want. We're going to actually do a really cool thing where we sort of break down the process and how you construct a song from the beats to the everything. And uh, I just want to remind you to turn your cell phones off. And we are going to bring the band up. I believe that they're ready. Everybody, let's hear a big, fat, warm welcome for Doomtree! <laughs> I know it's kind of like uh, the first day of kindergarten, but I'm going to make each of you introduce yourselves and say one thing, one simple pleasure in your life currently that's making you happy. Hi, my name is Mike M, and I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Mike from Doomtree. Hi. <laughs> A simple pleasure in life, is that what you said? Good. My kid. My kid makes me happy. Right Very on. Happy. That that's, makes it difficult, because mine was cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Dessa, and I like cupcakes. She likes cupcakes. My name is Steph. I wear glasses in the daytime and at night when I drive. <laughs> and it brings me joy. <laughs> My name is Sims. Uh, right now, um, I'm enjoying League Pass and not having to be anywhere till th 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Perfect. <laughs> Except for here. <laughs> Are these on? Yeah. Today was exceptionally oh, six early. Trims Let's in do the building. At the same time, okay? My name is Laserbeak Tiger. Yeah, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> My name's Laserbeak. I uh, I really enjoy DVRing TMZ and watching it before I go to bed. Right. <laughs> it's a great show. More for the more for the people that work in the office than the actual news they cover. But there really are some characters on there. So. <laughs> what am I enjoying? Um, <coughs> A month ago, I started watching every single episode of Cheers from beginning to end. All right. It's ridiculous. There's so many. How are you guys holding up? I mean, you've been working like crazy for, well, for the last couple of months, but certainly in the last couple of weeks. I know you played last night at First Avenue. You had a lot of special guests. Who was there with you? All kinds of rappers we know. <laughs> yeah. Sean Anonymous. Yeah. Greg Grease. Harmar Superstar. Minnesota. Minnesota. Ooh. Jinx. Illuminous 3. Uh, Chance. Fundo, of course. Chance Erwin. Sean Anonymous. Said that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> forgive us if we left your name off that thing. We are sort of How many people in rappers. this room were also at First Avenue last night? Yeah. 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 Good That's number great. of you. Uh, it's like being on tour, so it but you get to sleep in your own bed every night. Nice. So it's not all that bad. <laughs> I mean, it's, this is kind of what we do on tour, except we get um, to you know, stay at home, so it's, it's cake. It's perfect. Yeah. And here you are at The Current, and I can't think of anything better than just hanging out with our friends, talking about great music, and we're going to do something a little different, but something that Dessa has done before, which is a great success, which is, I think, any music fan and a fan of Doomtree, or any kind of music for that matter, is curious about the process of how a song comes together from beginning to end. Literally, it's conception and the deconstruction of how a song is put together. And you guys have given us the opportunity to take a look into one of your songs from uh, the new record, All Hands, and it is Grey Duck. And I'd, we're going to play a snippet, and then you're going to talk a little bit about where it evolved, how it started, and I'm gonna go sit over here and we're gonna hear the snippet. Cool. Sweet. That sounds really cool to me. <laughs> That's my public radio voice. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's so that's snippet. Why don't you tell us what we just heard? Snippet number one. So this is more of like how a, a beat gets constructed in the collaborative aspect of what we do for Crew Records. Um, so me and Cecil about two years ago decided to start making beats together to try to stockpile for this next Doom Tree record. And we would just get up every week. I'd go over to his house and we would just sit in front of some instruments and bang out and hope something cool happened. And that was one of the first beats that we actually made together. And we would just kind of, he would have a keyboard and I'd have a guitar and we'd just kind of see what stuck. So that song started with that little keyboard. Can you play that again? Can you play that? Say it again. There's that. Yeah, so that's just like a, that's that the keyboard. Cecil? That's Cecil on the keyboard. And then I added in some drums. And I think, uh, that Paris song by Jay-Z and Kanye had come out, and so we were going for like a little bit of, I don't know, rowdy stuff. And then I tried to play the guitar really sloppily because I haven't played the guitar in a long time. And that is that initial doo dee doo 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 And is I play guitar the guitar. Is that guitar in tune? I play the guitar like this when I do play the guitar. <laughs> doo -dee -doo -doo -dee -doo. Yeah. And I play the bass like this. I see, I see. Um, but yeah, so we just, you know, we always hope that it'll get cleaned up later, but we just kind of put all the ideas down. Um, so that was where it started. And now we'll listen to snippet two, because knowing that we were going into making a crew record and we had five voices, um, we always try to figure out ways to make the beat super interesting so that there's, it just doesn't get old, like a four bar loop or something. Um, so we're like, okay, let's get out the, the cheesy MIDI keyboard sound and try to make a, a bridge of some sorts. Snippet two. Does sound horrible. Banging. <laughs> mm. Yep. Ernest. <laughs> I don't know why that wasn't the single, just that looped. It's beautiful. It's like a harpsichord. Um, so we were like, all right, well, we've got that. We'll just put that in Pro Tools as well. Um, eventually, the beat becomes like a three and a half minute instrumental. Um, it gets given to the rappers. We went to um, some cabins worked on demos. Um, we had a pretty much a full song to that beat, uh, and it just was feeling long, like the second half just felt like it was dragging. Um, and Papes, why don't you grab your microphone? Thank you. This one. Yeah. But Papes had submitted, Papes is out in New York, so a lot of the process of the collaboration is us, me and Cecil, or me, Cecil, and Steph, making some stuff at home, sending it to Papes. He adds some stems, he sends it back, and we just kind of do this piecemeal thing back and forth through the beauty of the internet. Um, for the end of this song, though, Papes had a totally different beat. Yes. What was that beat called? <laughs> what was that beat named? Uh, I called it Christian Slater, because I just started, I, I didn't have a really good way of organizing my beats. I still don't, actually, but I, so I just started naming every one after a different actor or actress yeah. from a movie that's, that I had seen that week or whatever. So. That's, that's better than me. I just give them arbitrary first names like Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Those are both equally <laughs> cool like, to me. Oh, where am I gonna? Fu oh yeah, that beat was called Josh or Beast well, Face. <laughs> the or Beast Face. Yeah. The, the original name of this beat was actually called Crushing It Bra, <laughs> <laughs> and that's how that got sent out to the rappers. And, and then uh, <laughs> another song that's on the Doom Tree album, All Hands, was called Cheesy Crusty. Yep. Oh, yeah. Thirty Eight Airway was originally called Cheesy Crusty because me and Cecil were eating so much pizza in a cabin. <laughs> like I don't know what we should call it. Um, but okay, so we were like, all right, this song is lacking something. How do we take it over the top? And at that time, this banger of a beat called Christian Slater had come in, and it seemed like the BPMs were lining up, and it maybe had a feel that could complement the crushing it bra beat. To clarify, too, it was like pump up the volume era, Christian Slater. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Don't that, get it twisted. There, you need to know that. Yeah, it's very important to the story. Yeah, there's... Um, and so Cecil one day, I think maybe you had already written to this beat or you had a different No, verse. so I had a verse on Crushing It Bra and I was like, how about I just pull it off of this song because this song is really long and then I'll start a new song on Christian Slater with this verse. I'll pull my verse off and we'll start a new song from here. And that was met with like, <sighs> not another song. <laughs> <laughs> not another song. No, it was met with, no, Sims, we need you on this we song. We need you. We have to have you. Mm -hmm. um, so anyways... Cecil went into his room one night, and I just remember, like, <laughs> magic. Uh, but I just remember coming to the studio one day, and he, was, he just pressed play, and he had kind of reworked both the beats together so that they were kind of coming in and out of each other. 
and then the big end chorus actually completely switches up to Christian Slater. Um, and then we worked on that transition more and tried to kind of tease in some of the elements throughout the first half of the beat so that it doesn't just kind of shock you. But, uh, but yeah, so this next snippet is kind of the beginning of, of us putting those chunks together. Christian Slater. And then that's like the melding of the two. Yeah. I mean, whatever, you guys did the sign. It's hard, I was like trying to make like 10 to 15 second snippets, so it's hard to really show you, but we're gonna play the song. And we, really. we did consider, like, you know, for No Kings, which is our most recent album, we brought that one in cabins, and we were like, well, that worked, so maybe we should only hang out in cabins. But the problem with that is we don't have that many cabins. Yeah. And so on Twitter, after a show, we said, hey, does anybody have a cabin? And then this girl was like, I got a cabin. And so I was like, cool, could we just, like, stay there and write a rap record? And she was like, yeah, that's fine. So... <laughs> So we like met a total stranger and we're like, can we get those keys? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> and then we just stayed there for three days and wrote the record. And then at some point later, we were driving home together and we'd like put the beats together. It was awesome and everybody's verse sounded great. And we're like, well, do we, do we get Christian Slater to do a drop, like to say his name? And Steph was like, no, that's stupid. We get a Christian Slater impersonator. <laughs> yeah. And it was the plan for at least two weeks. And then we came to our senses. I thought that would have been great. That would be great. There might and still be time. The, the remix the with just a Christian Slater cut. impersonator. I want Christian Slater to just read the verses. Just That'd read the, He doesn't have to rap or anything. He just has to read the verses over the beat. It could be like... Like books on tape. Yeah, like books on tape. Books on tape. Yeah. I think you also forgot to mention that as much as we appreciated that Twitter cabin, and we did appreciate it, it was like 35% finished. Okay. <laughs> like, Literally. It there was, was a no giant walls. cabin... With no walls, full of mosquitoes. Listen, full I found of mosquitoes. a cabin Insulation for free. I did that. I found she it did. For She free. found a cabin for free, and it was tight. But if you're sitting there, and you're cabin. looking up at the free. corner in the wall, there's a hole, and bugs are just, like, flying in. There was no uh, sheet rock anywhere. It was all insulation hanging. And, and then as soon as the bass started going, it was all insulation spreading. Let's play, let's play some music. Let's play some music. <laughs> Raining insulation on everyone. And... It was really nice of her to supply yeah, us with the cabin. We were super appreciative. We got there, we all looked at Dessa like this. <laughs> Great score. This is a sweet, huge tent. Free, huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, that all was, right, that, that on that note. Um, <laughs> you know gonna, we sell things, right? <laughs> we eventually decided not to call the song Crushing It Bra or Christian Slater, and it turned into Grey Duck. We did argue about the spelling of gray for a while, though. Extensively. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's do it quick. Who prefers to spell gray with an E? That's the right way. Yeah. Just FYI. The okay, right who, who prefers Absolutely. to spell it with an A? The yeah, American that's way. Equal. That's what are you, what are you guys, way. British or something? The E? No, the E is the, e is the British. What are you guys, from Canada? No, I thought that the A was the British thing, but when we Googled it a bunch on gray, Gurguska, what is it? Duck, duck, gray duck. What's up, bro? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it came up with the A. And I thought that was a weird Minnesota skin. Yeah, it's a Minnesota. Thing. Do you guys know that? Do you guys know that that game isn't called Duck Duck Gray Duck anywhere but in Minnesota? Yeah, it's called. Duck you guys Duck are like, yeah, I'm from California. It's <laughs> <laughs> was like, what the hell is a gray duck? <laughs> They're called geese where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> we also call like ah. cars, like you know, transportation ducks. <laughs> Just we're short on nouns. Personal transport. Oh. <laughs> uh, should we play the song? <laughs> Yeah. Play yeah. the song, okay. yeah. Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Yeah, hey. Right on blue boy, tip in your knee, take it on the squad call, pick it up, fully sick, cause it's Sony strap for the Bobby Boom, a pity to the common. Boots to the ceiling, yeah. boost to the zero. So sincere, boots, nuke to the feeling. Round on the old scene box if you hear me, bricks for the fabric of your fiber. Bricks, dips, blicks, pick, rider. Bees in a trap, no bees in a hive. Jesus for Jesus, G's in a nine. Always for OG's, grease in the eyes. Grease in the khakis, peace to the side. Forgotten youth when old the mutants play Magneto. We believe the strip and never plagiarize the credo. Fashion cutter for the fascists. Dirty lift and truly goony. Looney tunes, schooly D's. Come on, cartoony. No keep poking dagger. Lava banger legacy. No anonymity. No force validity. False hopes. We got ghosts, man. We got ghosts. Tough shows and rough roads. Fill every 
She two stone Nintendo. I'm Vince Surf, she Pink Floyd. I'm jumping out the window. Side, come fly, I float high. Right by, I cut my own mold. Get by with my chose fam. Dismantle thrones. All up in your station. All up in your dark, awkward in your mark. Merry conversation. Call them out the park, hanging out the van, hailing cabs in your city. <laughs> Y'all should all mess with me. Shot like a Cadillac crash with a battle axe handy. Gucci store, fire on the couture. Them planes, trains, and automobiles. I'm John Candy. Y'all just can't stand me. I make them feel ridiculous. Picking apart their postures. Put together meticulous. The awful in the air hustle. Them fingernails, watch them. Sit and stare, box them. If I gotta panic, is that fashion? I arrow to the action. Pipe, pipe, but through all types of it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Don't get it. Or go without, you going nowhere, run that into the ground. Go get it, or go without, we go for broke and run that into the ground. With a hand in the sand, came two with fists fused in glass. Close the circuit, skull full of white light, mouth full of ash. Sparks on the pavement, dragging the chain. Anchors off, man, lost it again, city on. Gotta push through the rain, but the, the vein came for this. Train for this, Shucks. made for this, pray they miss duck. Duck, duck great duck, get suffer running. running. Rest fall back like a bridge in London. London. Brand new brakes, I'll, I'll never touch them. Man, y'all spin move, you're doing too much. Rental car, trick cigar. I'm laughing by all that whole thing blow up Looking like I'm joking Noah Black mask, take your gas money My name is Simmons, but call me David Lynch I'll make them act funny I ain't afraid to change lines State, date, or face I'm option two when you skate or die And still surviving in baselines At least for the next eight months Then I change up like it ain't much You do the Roger, Roger Rabbit and shape up. up Still blabbing about some frame up, up. M.M. living Race subliminal, class war criminal, trying to make my stance more pivotal. See what is left is suspect. The Pepsi genuine crystal meth and punk rock dance green rap is dead. I laugh until I lost my chill. I'm really real, half built to spill, half filled to veal, half shark get to get it and my Philly fill. Mill city kid in the field, critting in the blood, proof for the track, 50 in the tank, on it like a Mack truck. Roll with a ton on my back, but the back up fast, 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 but the back up, but the back up, but the back up fast. Don't get it or go without. You going nowhere. Run that into the ground. Go get it or go without. We go for broke and run that into the ground. And run that into the ground. And run that. And run that. <laughs> Well, my voice feels great. <laughs> yeah, your, your voice uh, sounds can, great. You guys sound lovely. Uh, thank you. Uh, literally, when I came to The Current one day, I was like, I came up with a rhyme in the elevator up. I said, build 89 to be The Current. Build a ville. Got the nice cues. Everything from built to spill the ice cube. Kill at will. <laughs> And that's where that little run in the last part of my verse comes from. That's why shout out Bill DeVille for having a cool name. That's Any tight. Answer. That's tight. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna play this old song. It's not that old, it's pretty old. Let's play it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Barrel full of powder, ship full of tea. Close about an hour, bringing sick to the sea. Ellie's full of barter, sick with the thieves. Once they hit the harbor, it's a wick in the breeze. There goes another one, Whoa. right up from under them. Different seashore, same 30 stores. There goes another one, Whoa. right up from under them. Worldwide mining town, steal it up, sell, sell it down. down. And not too long ago, mom and pop owned the shop. Prognosis progress, the Dow owns a block. Here to sell them salvation, an elevation sorta. Signal disorder, a celebration of Florida. They got the medicine to fix your mood. Mm. Take your learn to mind your place and eat that Cisco food. Yuck. You crave the arrogance, the rich folk ooze. Take life, waste life, just to get those jewels, that's, that's right. right. Uh huh, uh huh. Heads will roll. Low light, low light. Recite that untold. Keep with the goals. Rehearse for the 11th hour. Arrow after arrow after bullet after the flower. Uh huh, uh huh. Heads will roll. Low light, low light. Recite that untold. Keep with the goals. Rehearse for the 11th hour. Uh huh, uh huh. Heads will roll. Low light, low light. Recite that untold. Keep with the goals. Rehearse for the 11th hour.
on the right, some goes the rhetoric. But I think that cross is a kite that left a skeleton. I think that Russell was right, but that's irrelevant, friend. For all I know, there'll be nothing left to defend tomorrow. Sugar, Sugar in the gas tank. tank, nothing in the cash box. Thought that you were so, so slick, slick, looking like it's small box. The bullets are still on the shelves. When the armory empties, we're, we're melting, melting down, down the bells. Uh-huh, uh-huh, heads will roll. No light, no light, the sight that untold. And at the end of Law and Order, it flashes Dick Wolf, a wear in America, rocking a cheap sheep suit. Pull wool, wheeze through, stay on course to pull over by the pull pork, them cops. They're keeping the peace, cocks catching release like a sportsman. See him in the court then, poor paying him a portion. Uh huh, yeah. It's funny how they distort extortion, never better. POS, dance to the rhetoric, lean to the left, call me terrorist. Rock with it. Dance fever got them peeping out the prints on the floor. True believers keep their eyes on the horizon, catch me sizing up the. Check the crooked grind, watch me 50 50, keep my balance between the coping and the feeble mind. Hope the broken folk will rhyme, nothing much for token jokers here, skate off, we're doing fine. Uh huh, uh huh, heads will roll, low light, low light, recite that untold. Keep with the goals, rehearse for the 11th hour. We arrow after arrow after bullet after sunflower. Uh huh, uh huh, heads will roll, low light, low light, recite that untold. Keep with the goals, rehearse for the 11th hour. Thank you. This is Doom Tree live in the UBS forum here at the current. And I think it needs to be mentioned that Pitchfork Media, which is possibly one of the pickiest, weirdest sites out there, singled out Mike Goose Mictlan as being one of the highlights <laughs> of Minnesota hip hop. Did you see this, Mike? Yeah, I did. I was okay. excited. It was an article about weirdos. <laughs> The, Let's get real here. I mean, the context was kind of weird because they were talking about Minnesota Weird for yeah. some reason was like the title of it. But they singled it's, a lot of our friends and you yeah. specifically. It's Pitchfork. It had to be backhanded in some way. You I know, know right? <laughs> it's really awesome, but weird. Like, we're so down, but I'm going to reserve, like, not being down. No, I was, I was really excited. I was surprised. I've been surprised by the reception from my record from everyone, from you guys, from the local press and everything. Um... I was, uh, you know, lucky enough to make something that meant a lot to me, and it was a time to like tell my story, and that everyone like attached to that. I was yeah. lucky for that. It's awesome. What is the weirdest and most wrong thing someone has written about Doomtree? Oh, there's so much. Wow, tell there's me. a so lot. So much. Yeah. Tell me. Um, geez. That, that this guy's name is uh, Mike Michigan. Michigan. I've been yeah. Michigan. I've been Mick Dillon. Yep. That guy's been uh, slim Michelin. a billion times. It, it was Slim and Alexander. Yeah. He's called yeah. Steph by his last name. Yeah, yeah. my name was Alexander for some reason. I think, I think Doomtree has been attributed as being signed to Laserbeak once. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was, I think Laser Break Records was actually once nominated for like a local hip hop award. As the so best label. It was. Minnesota yeah. Hip Hop Awards yeah. nominated Laser Got Break Records. Laser Break Records. <laughs> Which is so double wrong. It's great. <laughs> With this being the last blowout, and I'm sure you've been asked this a million times, but do you feel that sort of need or pressure to, to outdo each and every year that you guys perform and put this together? And, and how much pressure did you guys put on yourselves this yes, year? Yes, all of it. Yeah. I, I think every year we want to outdo everything that we've done, which is, which is kind of why it's... It's, it's a good thing to close this thing out right now because the, the things that we decided were it, part of a Doomtree blowout, you know, is it's 
focused on us. It's focused on what we've been up to for the last year. And it's just hard to make that same format work and stay exciting all the time. And while it still feels exciting and really good while we're in the middle of doing it, I think we're all pretty excited at the prospect of letting this thing end and then taking a couple weeks, having Christmas and all this, and then putting our minds together to see what the next cool thing is. You know, yeah. There's a lot of limitations to having a blowout because, say, if we want to, like, you know, bring our bring certain friends out to make open or, you know, like there's just things that you can't do in a blowout that we're looking forward to kind of changing the format. So, Did, Has anything surprised you in the last couple of weeks, either with the reception that you've gotten from the audience or the feedback that you guys have gotten from people? I was surprised at how young the audience was at our all ages show. Yeah. It was like, like third rib high. <laughs> yeah. It was very small people. There was, there was, I honestly, and this is maybe silly after the fact and how quickly it went, but I was, when we were like, we're going to do like 10 events, I was like, you guys, <laughs> there's no way we're going to sell out that many, uh, let's scale it back, uh, you know, and then like, <laughs> it's, I will it's, find a cabin, yeah. <laughs> we can sell out these events. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, 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 I'm always surprised at the kind of support that we get, always, but it's always are. like, it's always like. Our fans are there, we can do this, but it's always way above and beyond what I think it's gonna be, always. That's f since year one, you know? So. I, w I was on tour in the spring in Europe and I was in Vienna and there was a couple Doomtree fans, there was probably three Doomtree fans in Vienna and they all happened to be at the show. And I spilled the beans, I was like, it is, he was like, oh, I, got, I would love to see the whole Doomtree. I was like, it's the last blowout ever this winter, like, you gotta come. And he was like, really? I was like, you come here and all the tickets are free. And then I was in Calgary and Seattle and there's people from all over the world that flew to come here and people who drove and spent their whole week doing this. And like, that was the most surprising to me. That's like hugely important to us in, in a way that you guys don't really, you can't really like see it, but we're just like, we're like, someone's coming from Vienna? Yeah. <laughs> Quietly. And now Mike, we're like, Psh, yeah, of course you did. Yeah, <laughs> but, but it really is like moving. It's great. It, 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 yeah, it's it's really great. I think, I think as like a giant fan of music, I would look at musicians on tour or bump into people or anybody I listen to, and I just assume that they're super famous and they're doing great and everything is awesome. And then in turn, people think that about us, mm -hmm. and it's just not. That's not true. No, we're not. We're not. We're not famous. We're not rich. We're all like awesome people doing pretty good in like you know life. But like, I don't know. Is it? I, I don't know that I would. I haven't flown anywhere to see a band since at the drive-in broke up. So the idea of people doing that as adults makes me makes makes my heart just. There's a couple that came in um, from Ireland, you know, to see the, the show and to like photograph the whole week. And I had met them while on tour. And so I think they had the impression that I was game killing. And then I said they could crash at my house. And I watched them both like walk my apartment twice looking for the rest of it. Like, okay, well, here's the bathroom again. So where's the rest so of it? So just the one Where do room, you huh? Live? We all live here together now in this room. What, what is the worst day job any of you guys have ever had? I was a, men's a lot of them. Oh, yeah, so many. Steph Steph I, was, I was a men's room attendant at a strip club. That was the last <laughs> actual job I had. In 2004, I quit it. And it was the thing as I'd show up at the strip club before anybody else and open up a trunk and lay out cologne and old cigars and wear a suit. And I wrote my first record sitting there waiting for people to come in and ask if they wanted a mint. Can I throw a cool story out Do it. of yours? There was two professional athletes that came in and they were both multi, they were really famous ones, really multi-millionaire guys, not the guys who were struggling to make the team. It was Bandy Bloss we're and, it out and uh, Durante Soul Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> so to tip to tip the guy after he washes their hands and because he sprays them down cologne and stuff, like, I met these guys tonight. He tells me the story. One was putting, about to put money in, and the other was like, I got this, man. Stops the other guy, throws a five in, pulls four ones out. No! 
that's how you get rich, man. And that's how that's money. how you that's stop how caring you about it. your job. You gotta stop over tipping the guys that work in the bathroom. <laughs> that's the only way you make money. Yeah, you get to <laughs> true. You get to keep true. what you don't spend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get Doom Tree to do two more songs. Let's hear it for him again. Doom Tree in the UBS Forum. This is another brand new one off our record called um, All Hands. All Hands. All Hands. Comes out January 27. Sorry. That wasn't a joke. No, no, no. First clear night, the river runs deep, walk against it, walk. walk. To the Southern Cross Peaks on the west edge of the Brown Lake, at the dredged in ruts in the mud, then gravel that are paved on left to the Amico, right to the station, first train. Wait, take the second, headed east, window seat, pretty girl, has a gold seat, throw the hotel key with your name on it. Stay on it till the train hits the border in the morning, duck the conductor, leave through the back door, wait for my sign on the platform, smoke on the skyline. Welcome to Delphi. They'll come with questions, answer what you can, everybody knows the new oracles at hand. I'm in the color world. I'm so amazed. Look who every day. Hoping I don't float away. And I don't float away. Cold world, no blanket. Dark nights, no Batman. What up? I spin nail in the hand and the hammer on the nightstand. Locked in, no B plan. Keep the mouth shut, let them stay lost. Radio up, radio off. Even no guts are in so what? Rather he just back to the bus up. Handful of silver bullets, high noon all day. How soon is too soon to pull it when I doubt they count their paces at all? So high, but took a bullet in the wax wing. So fly, didn't give a chance to melt. So tight, how when he came down, didn't even look scared. Just ease on back into the belt. They brought me in another world. And I watched your face, broke through every day. Hoping I don't fall away. And I don't fall away. The woods are deep, yeah, the woods are deep. I was drinking that cheap stuff to fall asleep and really solely to hold my feet. These days I've been taking that heavy so lightly that I might float away completely in my psyche. I'm the natural man in the Black Friday stampede. LED murder spree for cheap. In the video scream, world star for Z. I'm feeling dirty, but feeling so good I just smile at the thief. Fold up a note in the breeze, cause I get a few miles to go before I can see. Catch a wreck like R-E-S-P-R-I-A-T-I-O-N From the west side Now I'm strong in the midwest in my own nation Got a band man, we cooled up in sub plans, no subjugation Put the wings in the chop, put the beans in the pot pop, pop. Do tree, no kings, get the top Hit them off at the neck, better off dead, dead them all Better them than you, right forever tight Forever Oh, they probably ain't another way And I watch so big, go through every day Hoping I don't slow away, but I don't slow away. Oh, probably in another way. And I watch so many go through every day. Hoping I don't slow away, but I don't slow away. Cool. I am really excited about our new record, you guys. Me too. And there's a couple that we've practiced and gotten really, really super ready for this blowout, and I'm feeling great about how they go live. That one, I'm feeling great about. This whole record, I'm feeling great about. I, I, I just needed to say that a bunch of times. 
So. All right. I always felt great about this one. <laughs> Girl gave me a bolt cutter. We love to break in. We claim all the spaces. They forgot they had taken. All this is ours. It's gonna be what we make it. Only the stars were close enough, we would make them. She gave me a bow cutter, we love to break it. We claim all the spaces, they forgot they had taken. All this is ours, it's gonna be what we make it. If only the stars were close enough, we would paint them. Yeah. They said we couldn't have that. Square when the guy right back said, yeah, yeah. yeah. We gon' take it anyway, that's that. Anyway, we don't feed out your hands. What could we do for the grain of sand? It's the end of the golden era. We don't buy terror. We define terror. Me and my girl, we on the run. But we shoot back when the lawman come. Hard to sleep when the darkness creeps. We won't quit till the job is done. We were trying to be quiet, but you incited a riot. Conquered, divided. We learned and applied it. Arrogance, audacity. Your love's from a magazine. My love, load a magazine. She be shooting. Duck. Fake they care about us. My girl gave me a bow cutter. We love to break it. We claim all the spaces. They forgot they had taken. All this is ours. It's gonna be what we make it. If only the stars were close enough, we would paint them. She gave me a bow cutter. We love to break it. We claim all the spaces. They forgot they had taken. All this is ours, it's gonna be what we make it If only the stars were close enough, we would paint them Besides is something easily forgotten clearly And time is not my problem, she reminds me nearly hourly I notice till I don't all rules respected less with every step Neglecting lessons about trespass Passing old plans lost to the rent Laugh till we sick, passing the twist So savage we nag, it's just standings and spit With a generally messed up view Says who? That handle is safe And we typically don't give too much weight To a life with the worms I view We play like birds, pray, any place warm Stay, love, love it. it, we own our space Roam, home, any place aimed Go, 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 go. Any place aimed Go, 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 go Girl gave me a bone cutter, we love to break it. We claim all the spaces, they forgot they had taken. And all this is ours, it's gonna be what we make it. If only the stars were close enough, we would paint them. She gave me a bone cutter. Tight. Doom Tree live here in the UBS Forum. Two sold out shows left tonight and tomorrow. I imagine you have some tricks up your sleeve for yeah, tonight. Yeah. Well, since it's sold out, can you give a hint of anything? Well, if it's all right with you guys. Um, it depends. What are you giving up? I was depends just going to talk about how. You're not you going to talk about the Tigers, are you? I'm not going to talk about the Tigers. I'm not going to talk about the 
Lasers. Or the zip line. Nope, nope. All right. But we did, yesterday, we invited some of our favorite local hip-hop dudes to come out and do some stuff, as well as Harmar, who's not a hip-hop dude, but he's a hip-hop dude to he's us. He's kind of one. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's, it's a different batch of people every night, and definitely people that we respect within our Minneapolis-St. Paul community here. All Hands <laughs> is the new record, and the photo book is oh. incredible. Yeah. Paper How's, Tiger. That's this guy right here. That is incredible. He Give it up for Paper Tiger, everybody. For real. He collected pictures from everybody's cell phones as well as pictures he's been taking over the years, and he spent a lot of time working on that 19-pound right? book. Yeah, it shows. It's, it's beautiful. I want to remind you guys, too, that uh, after, they're going to be signing posters out in the lobby. And I want to thank everybody for coming down. I want to thank all you guys. I'm glad to count you all as friends. And uh, we are so looking forward to tonight and tomorrow and anything else any one of you talented people do in the future because we know you're all incredibly busy and prolific and have lots and lots to do. And uh, we're always following you and we're always supporting you here at The Current. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you guys for coming, everybody. Appreciate it. Doom Troopers!